On behalf of 120,000 strong men and women of the Philippine National Police, it is my singular honor and privilege to express utmost congratulations to the Soroptomist International responsible for organizing this big international event that is giving flesh to, among others, the invaluable role of women around the world. I am quite confident that many among our friends back here representing the Soroptomist International Philippines region are so familiar with all the antecedents as to how the National Police Force in our country has evolved alongside our close partnership with the SIAPR that all started way back in 1993. A group of women from the then National Commission on the Role of Filipino Women in the SIAPR expressed full support to help make the budding National Police Agency then a gender-sensitive male-dominated police force. We indeed have gone a long, long, long way. At least two memorandum agreements were signed among the past leaderships of the PNP, the SIAPR, and the Friends of the PNP Foundation, which is also an organization mostly comprised of women representatives way back in 1999 on one hand, and then later in 2008. In 1999, then Vice President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo was the principal witness to the signing of a memorandum agreement held in Camp Rafael Crame, the home of the PNP National Headquarters. For those who were there, you might still vividly recall the beginning of stronger partnership wonderfully held dear by the top leaderships of the PNP with all the memories of the first National Summit of Women in Policing held at the Asian Institute of Management in Manila in 2000, followed by subsequent biennial summits in the different parts of the country, namely in the cities of Bacolod, Olongapo, Dabao, Tagbilaran, Puerto Princesa, Sambuanga, and Cebu, to name some. The year 2020, however, came to a halt for the 11th Summit on Women in Policing as the whole world had come to confront a public health emergency condition brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. Discussions during the past 10 summits, however, have brought to light many different issues and gender concerns faced by women in the police force. They had been quite timely and relevant with discussion of the new laws, policies, projects, and best practices that bearing to women in the Philippine society. They have also been effective avenues for providing recognition to police women whose ideals of service and achievements have contributed to the accomplishments of the PNP itself as a public service organization. All those summits on women in Palestine, sponsored jointly by the SIIPR and the PNP, had laid down consistently the pursuit for our women officers to have their sense of direction towards a competitive, gender fair, and principled leadership in the police organization, and to have the frontline task of addressing the elimination of violence against women, which applies to internal and external clients. The year of 21st century, is the era of empowerment. Before, women were mere subordinates to men, be it in law enforcement, anti-crime operations, public order and safety, criminal justice, and police administration. The marginalization had been reinforced by other issues, not only in the performance of police functions, but more evidently in the socialization between male and female police officers. Women before were treated as second rate, with less assertion in their economic capability with their male counterpart as it portrayed a blind program for women, thus contributing to gender inequality. The advent of 21st century has accelerated the critical thinking in law enforcement and thus has reached a more positive sense of policing roles exercised by women. Among the most vulnerable sectors of society that the PNP vows to protect and defend are women and children. In fact, as part of its mission, the PNP commits to serve and protect women and children from all forms of discrimination, violence and abuse, exploitation, neglect and cruelty. This provides the foundation for its direct involvement in combating violence against women and children. In recent years, several programs, projects and activities have been introduced, carried out and sustained by the PNP as an instrument of the government to fulfill its commitment to international treaties and national laws 
for the protection of women and children's human rights. Our policemen themselves truly have gone a long way in their struggle for the promotion and protection of their human rights and their recognition for their crucial role in the development of PNP. I'm pretty sure that some few years from now, police women will be more visibly seated side by side with men in the top decision-making process and also critically in the front line of leadership. And eventually, the highest probability in their career will follow to be future chiefs of the Philippine National Police. The PNP was so fortunate for having our partners from the SIAPR as the wheat beneath our wings, so to speak, when they helped pioneer national mechanism on gender mainstreaming for our police force. Known domestically as Gender and Development, or GAD, or GAD, the Women's Desk is one milestone achievement in the PNP GAD program. Established pursuant to Republic Act 8551, the PNP Reform and Organization Act of 1998, it serves as a principal component of its police station nationwide that is mandated to attend to and administer cases of violence against women and children. It is in this law where female police officers play a highly important role in providing services and protection to VAUSI cases. Having been originally started by the SIAPR and the NCRFW as a gender-based project, jointly with the PNP Directorate for Police Community Relations, the formal establishment of the Women's Desk, which then evolved into becoming Women's and Children's Protection Desk, or WCPD, has recognized the SIAPR as a key ingredient that infused the PNP with a strong gender perspective and orientation. While the WCPD has achieved great success in its mission to address cases on violence against women and children, the PNP could only do so much in this agenda, even as it enforces the laws protecting women and children and runs after those who violate the said laws, it still needs the support and cooperation of all sectors of involvement, civil society, even businesses, including the well-meaning organization of the SIAPR, in order for the fight against Bausi to achieve a long-term, deeply felt success. On the era of Bausi prevention, WCPD officers also engage in intervention advocacy programs which specifically target communities. In here, WCPD officers work with the SIAPR in some localities, investing in conducting information drive on VAUSI in communities and schools. They give seminars and symposia to make the citizens aware of VAUSI and what they, as responsible citizens, can do to address or help prevent such crimes. WCPD officers coordinate with the NGOs, community organizations, educational institutions, health workers to aid them in this crusade. Being consistently a stone supporter and a valuable ally of the Philippine National Police over the years in the promotion of women's rights through the holding of various events, projects and activities for and with the police agency, the SIAPR in various parts of the country in no small measure has driven our police women to a higher sense of pride, motivation and excellence as partners of men in the development of the PNP to become an institution of public service and a protector of human rights. Indeed, these indefatigable efforts of SIPR not only contributed to the realization of the mission and goals of the premier police agency of this land, but also helped strengthen the relationship of the police and the community it has sworn to serve and protect. Again, on behalf of the entire members of the PNP, congratulations to the Sorab to Miss International on this momentous occasion. I pledge to continue strengthening our police agency with more vigor and sincerity in the pursuit of women empowerment and in defending the human rights of women from all forms of abuse and discrimination. Maraming salamat po sa inyo.